Here we have two major volcanoes. The one on the left, that's Mount Tambora. It erupted back in 1815 on April 10th. The one on the right was Krakatoa. It exploded multiple times in 1883, only 17 years later. Both volcanoes were located in Indonesia. Although they are both volcanoes, their major eruptions in geology were different. Let's take a look at how different. Mount Tambora is a stratovolcano, which means it is built up of layers of hardened ash and lava. Its eruption did not blow the volcano up like Krakatoa, although it is considered to have been a larger eruption. Krakatoa, on the other hand, was built up of rock and blew most of itself up. How did it blow up, you may ask? Well, Krakatoa is a volcanic island located in Indonesia. It had been dormant for two centuries, or 200 years, but on August 11th, three vents on the volcano began to let off steam and regularly let out lava. Then, on August 26th, it erupted four times. Once at 5.30, 6.42, 8.20, and 10.02 a.m. The final three eruptions caused cracks in the volcano, letting seawater into the magma chamber. This resulted in superheated steam inside the magma chamber. The pressure of this then caused Krakatoa to explode. The sound of the explosion is said to have been heard as far away as Western Australia. This eruption destroyed most of the island and the ash from Krakatoa increased the land masses of two islands nearby. Ver Latin and on the left and Lang on the right. The explosion destroyed the volcano, ceasing it to exist in present day, unlike Mount Tambora, which still remains active. The explosion of Krakatoa also created tsunamis. Ash darkened the sky around the world for days and created beautiful sunsets for the months to come. Volcanic pumice from Krakatoa drifted across the sea and was found as far away as the east coast of Africa. Now, if you think Krakatoa's effects were horrible, think again. Mount Tambora is said to have been the largest eruption in history, louder than Krakatoa. It erupted on April 10th, 1815, killing many people. Many people died because of tetrafall, which is sharp rocks and pieces that were ejected by the volcano and pyroclastic flow. Pyroclastic flow is when a cloud of ash, rock and gas rushes down the volcano like an avalanche. Many people lived near Mount Tambora and were killed by this avalanche of lava, as its speed cannot be outrun. Lava killed way more people at Mount Tambora than Krakatoa, because sediments were close by to Mount Tambora, while Krakatoa was an inhabited island. What came after eruption of Mount Tambora killed and affected more people. Starvation, disease and hunger struck the world, and there was famine and disease outbreaks all over the world. The heat from the eruption damaged and killed crops and riots broke out from the shortage of food. One thing that Mount Tambora and Krakatoa both caused were tsunamis. The tsunamis both submerged islands nearby with 40 metre tall waves. Islands near Krakatoa were completely submerged and the people who lived there climbed trees to save themselves. After all these eruptions and explosions, you may be wondering how did these volcanoes form? Both volcanoes are situated in Indonesia the country with the most volcanoes in the world. This is because Indonesia sits right on the border of two tectonic plates, the Indo-Australian plates. Both volcanoes are caused by subduction of these plates. Subduction is when one asthenosphere and lilosphere, or plate, meets with another plate and one is forced either above or below the other. The crust above the plate that is not moving down or up is forced upwards along with magma. This causes the volcano, mountain, earthquake, or tsunami to form. This was how Krakatoa and Mount Tambora were both formed, along with the other volcanoes at this plate. Well, there you have it. You now know the differences and similarities between these two volcanoes.